what's going on youtube welcome to the channel thanks for checking out the channel and if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and hit the notify button where we're always dropping new toyota tacoma content all right guys we got us an sr5 four by four and celestial silver it's a five foot bed and let's just see what the price is and what kind of options we got right so it's going to be forty two thousand dollars almost forty three thousand dollars and we're just going to get heated front seats basically and deck rail cleats and all weather floor liners that they charge us $179 for, which I don't understand why. I don't understand why is because if you bought a whole truck, why are you guys charging me $179 for some floor mats? Just put it in the truck. Like, why you guys gotta say you're charging us $179 for them? Like, is that an option? I can't believe floor mats are actually an option. It's just ridiculous. It's like Toyota's charging for every single option as it is. So I guess, you know, we shouldn't expect anything different. So let's just see what we don't get for our money today. We already know, we already know, you ain't gonna get no sunroof. I don't even think, I don't even know if you can get a sunroof on an SR5. Let me know if, I don't even know if you can get a sunroof on an SR5. Maybe if it was fully loaded. Maybe if it's fully loaded. I'm really interested to see a fully loaded SR5, what we can really be looking at. I mean, we've kind of seen some of them on the internet, but we haven't seen any in person yet, so. Yeah, with this one, let's let me take a peek inside. I know you're not gonna get no big screen or nothing, but that's one of the things like, you could probably get you one of these SR5s. Could you imagine an SR5 with a big screen? The big screen, the sunroof and leather, <laughs> upgraded tires. I mean, that's what I'm looking forward to seeing. This is, you know, we've been seeing them now. And uh, let's just kind of just maybe take a look at some of these body lines, because we haven't really discussed. Sometimes when I'm looking at the pictures, and you guys have mentioned it too, it looks like it's kind of dented. Like right in this area, right in here. It looks kind of funny, but overall, I really like the design of the truck. And you know, I trust them, whatever whatever reason, you know. You got your regular classic Tacoma line right down there at the bottom, which I really like. And I definitely like it without any decal on the back. I think the off-road and the sport decal on the back of these trucks looks terrible. But yeah, this is a four by four. And let's see what size tires you guys are gonna get in. This guy. So the you're gonna get 245 70 17 and these are firestones all right now you're gonna get a power locking tailgate you're gonna get adaptive cruise control you're gonna get toyota safety 3.0 all standard so you're gonna get the blind spot monitor to let you know if somebody's right next to you if you're trying to get over you're not gonna get um integrated turn signals right there on the mirror but you are gonna get these really really cool led lights and a nice little thing that Toyota did was put Tacoma on like all the headlights up here, if you can see it, the glare. But I definitely like the grill on these new trucks and I like the fog lights. Let me make it a little smaller. Sorry guys, we're having a little bit of difficulty. But yeah, um, so these trucks are here. So I was just talking with, I don't know what his name was. It was Alex or Ricky or something like that. I think it was Alex. I think it's Alex. So Alex at uh, Capital Toyota. But anyway, we were talking about, I was asking him, if they got any more trucks on the way, I specifically asked him, do you guys have any fully loaded trucks on the way? And he was like, well, we don't, I, he said, basically they didn't, he don't think they had anything else coming in except for at the beginning of the month when they're gonna kind of get allocated. So this is one of those things, guys, if you guys are looking to get a 2024 Toyota Tacoma, depending on how big the dealership is, you could be waiting like about, you know, anywhere between like six weeks, basically until they get another allocation so they'll get what they get so this dealership right now has two trucks on the lot so who knows how many they had sent here and how many were pre-sold because we are still kind of like in the pre-sold thing and i don't know some dealerships might be just doing they kind of still just doing the whole pre-sold thing you go in there especially i think that's probably what's going to happen so like like i said let me finish the story so if you come in here and um you know you're looking for a truck and then there's nothing on the lot you're gonna to have to wait for the you know four or six weeks or something like that so what happens is you might just go in there and ask them about it hey well what's coming in and then they'll tell you what they got coming in and then you'll get signed up for the one that you want so with all the options so you might want to off-road in all black but you got to have all these options so what they're going to do is they're going to get on their little computer and then they're going to see what they got coming in what's being built and then hopefully um, the truck that um, with all the options that you want is being built and then you only have to wait like a few weeks But so say like you go in there and you try to see, you know You're looking for the color and you're looking for all these options and they're like, oh Sorry, you know, we don't have it coming in right now So you could either do then you could have a couple options at that point You could either check back with them and you know 
you know, next time they get their allocation, they kind of get allocated. They get a list, I believe, like once a month or something like that. Maybe once or twice a month, they'll get a list and they'll know. So you could either follow back up with them or you could reach out to another dealership and see if they have what you're looking for. So that's just kind of like, you know, what's going on. And But uh, I think we're going to probably see a lot of these trucks once they start to come. Because basically, like I said, some of these trucks have already been pre-sold. So you know, we got to let a few allocations come through and maybe they don't sell every single truck that they get for the allocation. So then now you got twos and threes left on, left on the lot and then more trucks should be showing up regularly, you know, because the 2024s are out now. So, you know, they got to get a replenishment of these Tacomas out here. So if you look at this dealership right here, they only have like, they got three forerunners here. Now this dealership usually has a whole bunch of them, but they only have three of them. They got an off-road and then they got an SR5 here, a premium. And I'll just give you guys a price so you guys can kind of compare prices. So, wow, this one's $52,000. This must be premium for real. A $52,000. This is almost $53,000. i will let you guys see some of the options. So, you're going to get the uh, KDSS and that ran you $1,750. And then you got your power sliding moonroof, keep it wild savings. You got your all weather floor liners and then you got your predator steps which really hit you for the 695 bucks almost 700 bucks but you do get a back window that rolls down so let's get a price on this sr5 since it's right here yeah that was pretty expensive and the sr5 is pretty much expensive too so 49 almost 49 so 48.5 48.5 and you're gonna basically you're gonna get a third row though so you get a third row now um a lot of people so as i kind of mentioned you know there's only a couple of these on here there's they got a limited over there you know and it's it's really nice it looks almost it, it looks like it's uh let's just go take a look or we could just look at this one right here that's coming got one that's coming right here it basically looks the same i think it's the same truck <laughs> i think this might be classic silver what do you guys think is classic silver or man this truck looks nice i'm glad i came over here i think this is windshield pearl so you can really see how windshield pearl is hitting yeah this is definitely the nicest truck this is i see why they got it over here it's on these yokohamas too oh wait yeah this is nice this oh this paint is nice yeah this is that windshield pearl and it's going to be for 53 53 too this is cheaper than that uh than the off-road so yeah i like this one this windshield pearl how it's hitting in the sun Look at that, you guys. It's going to be fully loaded. You're going to get that 360 camera. But yeah, so they only got they only got like three of these. They only got three trucks. I believe the Sequoia over here, too. They got a capstone that's going to be in the same color. So check out the capstone. Capstone is going to be in the same exact color. But the capstone is going to hit you for like 84k 84k all day i know you get a big old panoramic roof i'll let you guys see the options that you get slow it down speed it up so you're going to get 437 horsepower and 583 pound feet of torque in these big old things and i think they might have like i think they got two of these on the lot a lot of these dealerships are having these things i think i think maybe it's another capstone tundra or something but yeah so the sr5 yeah you got the sr5 and you got this baby A little feature my baby sorry guys but yeah man these trucks are here and like i said they're going to be coming here we're going to be starting to see them a lot more so they're just chilling right now so a little bit of the craze has died down and we'll just see how these old turbocharged four cylinders hold up and do Take you guys around it one more time. $43,000. What do you guys think? $43,000. $43,000 for a SR5? 2024? What do you guys think? Thanks a lot for checking out the channel, you guys. Have a good day and God bless. Peace.